A lot of you seem to struggle with the fish tank lesson, so I wanted to provide you with a walkthrough so that you could practice this concept. So the first thing that it asks you to do is to create a custom function called draw fish that does the drawing of the fish. So what I'm going to do is go right here and I'm going to create that function. And I'm going to use the draw fish name because that's what they gave us and it makes sense. And we're going to provide it with those parameters. So parameters are variables that allow us to pass information into a function to be used inside of it. So inside this, I'm going to use these right here. So I will do center X, center Y, body length, body height, and body color. To start a function here, I need the curly braces. And then at the end of this, I need to have the end curly braces and a semicolon. It's good practice to go in then when you add one like this for a function around code and do the indentation. It makes it much easier to tell, um, tell where the function starts and begins. You can clearly see that all of this fits inside that function. So now to call this function, I'm going to call draw fish. That's the name of the function. And now I need to provide some values for these parameters for each fish. So I'm going to do a couple different fish right now. Let's do one at like 100x, 50y, and make it 75 pixels long, 35 pixels high, and let's do color, um, go with my favorite purple, and it needs a second curly brace, or a uh, round brace right there to end it. Now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to draw a fish, and you can copy and paste and change your values if you want to. I'm going to put one down at the bottom a little bit further. So let's do 300, 300, and let's make this fish really long, but also really tall, and... color. It picked red for me, which is fine, but I'm going to do a lime green. So that's the, the basic getting it to draw, okay? So that was steps one through three, calling the function with different values so it's filled with fish. Now it wants you to add more parameters such as tail width, eye size, tail color, more ways to make your fish more unique. So the way that I did this to make mine more unique is I added a tail width and gave it, um, I actually just went up and you can change these values all to zero. They're just variables. They don't do anything with the value that you have in there because when you call them, they're getting a new one. Um, and then var tail height. And I'm going to also do an eye size. So here, eye size. And why not do eye color? Because that's fun. I'm just going to start it with red. That's a little creepy, but oh well. And we will do eye color. So I need to set up the whole inside to be able to handle these parameters now. So right now it's drawing the body at X, Y, and then the body length and body height. Here it's drawing the ta tail width and tail height and dividing it by four. So instead of doing this, 
I need to pro take the tail width and height that I'm passing in. It's going to adjust it a little bit. So let's add in those calls. So if you look, it starts with center X, that's center X, center Y, body length, body height. So now I need tail width and tail height. So let's do this one, a really high tail. Let's do 50. It's the height of the fish. Actually, it's going to make it a little bit weird. Let's try 75. And then width, let's try 25. And we need to give it an eye size and eye color so it doesn't, it'll show us hopefully the other colors in here. But I'm going to do eye size. Let's do 5 eye color. Um... and like a blue and the color of that fish and then let's call this one I haven't set the eye color yet so it's not going to do anything with it we need another value here let's do 100 200 this is going to be weird and then another color and let's do the red Oh, I need eye size in here. Let's do 15. Okay. So that is, we're going to adjust this now. So the tail width, instead of taking this body length, we're going to get rid of this. <laughs> Those are a little big. So we're going to mess with these numbers just a little bit because that was a little crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, now remember you can grab this and you can do some adjusting here oh that is just silliness is what that is but we can make it a lot taller and then the same with this one we can do some adjusting Make it a little tiny tail or a really big tail. Now let's look at the eye. So the eye has this fill that we're filling in with it. We're actually not going to do that. We're going to do fill and we're going to take in the eye color. And then it should fill those eye colors in. So here's the red and here's the blue that I passed in. So I'm going to draw another fish. And let's see what happens. Let's do a... 200, 150, and let's make this fish really small, 25, 25, let's make its tail small, its eye size pretty small, make its eye purple, make its body red that's fine and there we go so there's that little fish right there so that's how you do the basic stuff for this so i did some extras after i added my fish in and you can keep adding them in if you want to and the extra that i did was to draw a background so if you go back up to the top this is the water and i'm just going to add some sand at the bottom and my sand is just going to be any sandy-ish color so if you go towards the oranges and browns here and just play around with these you should end up with something that looks similar to sand and I'm going to do no stroke because I don't want it to have an outline and then I'm going to draw a rectangle. I had to mess with these numbers a bunch to get it to line up quite correctly with my screen. But there's the sand on the bottom. And then I added a rock to mine as well. The seaweed, if you want to do it, it's a little bit of work. I used lines and then stroke color to do lines. Let me just show you the rock first because it's pretty easy. Again no stroke and I'm gonna do why do I keep spelling fill with an E like this is England or something 
Um, I'm going to do like a grayish color for that rock. And I'm going to use arc to do it. And arc is neat. So it's, it's an X and a Y. You'll give it a width and a height. And then a start um, degree and an end degree. So if you think of a circle, I'm going to do a circle that starts at 180 and ends at 360. So it does a half circle across the top. So if I do 150 X 360 Y, 75 width, 50 height. And if I start at 180 for the degrees and 360 for the end, I end up with a rock right there. Again, that took some messing with to get the numbers just right here. The seaweed, again, I just use lines for that. And I did stroke weight. I want a thicker line, so I made it 10 pixels wide. And then I chose a green for the seaweed. Choose whatever green you want. You could even pick a yellowy green if you wanted to to make it more realistic. And then I started drawing lines. I made one really big line down the page like this. So it starts down here and it goes up. So it starts at the bottom. So 25x, 375y, and ends at 25x, 25y. You could do that backwards as well and it would work the same. And then I just started adding little stalks off of it. It doesn't look pretty, but it is what it is. So I'm going to start at that same 25x, which is where the line starts for the stalk. And then I'm going to add, starting at 45y, a little green line that's going to come off right here. And then you can just keep adding them, kind of like you would do if you were drawing tree branches coming off of a tree. Again, it's just a lot of messing with it to see what looks good. This one I'm going to have going to the left. And there's some seaweed in the background. And then every time I add fish, the fish will show up over the seaweed. I'm not going to show you the interactive part. It's not terribly hard, but um, I will do that in a separate video because this is just the basic stuff that I wanted you to do. Let's add one more fish here. Um... Let's see, how big are you going to be? Long and thin. And your tail is going to be weird. It's going to be, let's say, 35, 15 high. I have to give you a small eye because you're going to be weird. Let's make your eye green. And your body blue. <laughs> Can't even see his tail because his body's so long. I'm going to move him over. There we go. Again, these fish, if you're if they go over each other, if you change the order, they will be um, in front of or below each other. Okay, so that's the fish tank.